So welcome back everybody to make sure you're daily and you can barely see me because we got the, the camera turned up up here so that you can see the pages of the new Lego catalog. So today we're going to go through the new Lego catalog. It's the late holiday 2018 catalog and we're going to go through it and discuss what we see in the catalog. So first reactions. In. So we open it up. Well, let's talk about the cover first. The cover. So this is a scene that we love, which is the holiday season. So you got some built in non Lego uh, Christmas stuff and packages in the back. And then they have the firehouse. I really like this set. Um, it's one of those themes that you wish you could have all of. And I'm sure it's going to be very collectible in the future. Um, they're only putting out one new set each year. So if you're looking to start collecting um, Legos, this might be the, the theme for you because I think it's going to be very valuable. Um, resale value, very high. Because not a lot of people are picking up these Christmas season collectibles. And everybody's picking up the Star Wars collectibles. Not everybody's picking these up. And I think that the retail value after they discontinue each one is going to go through the roof. So I highly recommend picking those up if you have the opportunity. So again, this is the Christmas firehouse. It comes with a fire truck, Christmas tree, a whole bunch of activities that you can play with. And then it comes with the firehouse itself, where the truck actually parks inside the firehouse. Um, and then it's got a tower on the side, which is very cool. And he even has a little fire dog. Very cool. So Black Friday deals. We have here door busters, limited quantities, and then 30% off only at the Lego stores and lego.com between November 23rd and 26th. So these are the best deals I think that are out there right now. Um, now you have to wait until the 23rd so through the 26th. But if you're looking for Black Friday deals, I think this is going to be the best place for you to go is Lego stores and lego.com. Um, it'll be a great opportunity to pick up some discounts with Legos. Legos don't normally go on sale. So this is a great opportunity to get some on sale. Use your dollars wisely. So we have the creator pack up front here. 20% um, off select items like the detective office. So this creator set, I believe, is going to be discontinued be fairly soon. So that's something you might want to pick up. Free exclusive of the, what is this, the Christmas gift? Holiday present. I think these are awesome. Um, this is going, you know, very similar to the Harry Potter luggage that just released, where it opens up, and then the, also the storybook book that opens up. Both are very cool designs. And this right here, I think is a, you know, just to add on to that. So if you're gonna go pick up that storybook, better make sure that you also pick up uh, enough to get this Lego kit as well. Um, you gotta spend $99 in order to pick this up. There's a Ninjago mini figure pack. And then available on the 23rd is the remake of the Vista wind turbine. Now, I really love this set. I loved it when it first came out. I love it again, now uh, it's out again. The power, add the power functions, and now you can spin that Lego turbine um, all the time. And it's got lights, is that right? It's got lights now? Looks like, yeah, it, it's got integrated lights as well for the front of the building. Now, this is an old fashioned building design. So if you have the modules, it's not gonna look good against the modules, but it's gonna look good, um, you know, if you have a hill, you know, a train set, and you don't have many pieces or many modules, and you need something over on the far right side or far left side, go ahead and pick this up, and it adds a lot of, you know, depth and height to your builds. So following that holiday theme, we got the holiday train and the Holiday Village Station. Now my son has this holiday train, he loves it. He's actually put power functions into it. Um, loves that kit. And uh, 
he, I think he wants this village station as well. So village station, uh, we have a couple train stations, but I really like this old fashioned timey car that come, it comes with. That's a really cool car. Uh, the train station itself, I think is a little small uh, in comparison to other train stations that you can buy, but it comes with a lot of different figures what five different figures for that station and then the train itself comes with a bunch of items now the train is really cool because it has a christmas tree that rotates when it moves so if you're pushing the train along the tree will actually rotate around on its base um, and then it has a little choo-choo train on underneath the christmas train on the flatbed that's connected to the train so it's it's very cool themed um the, the details of the train are fantastic. This picture doesn't do it justice. Let's put it that way. I highly recommend you pick up the holiday train if you haven't already. James Bond, Austin Martin, DB5. I love the Porsche and the Bugatti that has just come out. This set, I, I even love this London bus and the Mini that used to be there and the Volkswagen bus as well. This set does not scream to me. I don't like the overall design. I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's just too blocky. Whereas the Austin, Mar Austin Martin itself was very curvy. Uh, they, they tried to put a little bit of curve into it. And to me, they just didn't succeed with the overall look of the Austin Martin itself. All the functions in the, in you know, are very cool with the, the trunk and the, the the headlights that open up and the machine guns that come out all that's fantastic don't get me wrong i think there's a lot of function associated with this i just for 150 dollars you want it to sit on your shelf and to be a conversation piece and i don't believe it to be that great of a uh, a model to sit on your shelf whereas this london bus I think actually is done better to replicate the original design of the London bus. It is blockier, but it's a bus. It's a two-story bus. And I think they did a really good job with the seats. And uh, I would be more proud to put this on my shelf than this one. Okay, moving on. Modulars. The mod modules, I think, you know, if you have the money, go ahead and pick all these up. If you have a train set, uh, a, you know, a train, a Lego train set that you have modules built into. You got to collect them all, I believe, because I think they're fantastic. This is the number one item, I believe, uh, for Legos for this holiday season, which is the roller coaster kit. It's very expensive. It's $380. But the amount of pieces that you get, the functions that you get, when you put it, you put uh, power functions on top of it, this set is amazing. And this is the first time that Lego has come out with Legos that are official Legos that are roller coasters. There's been some third party knockoffs, but this and two other smaller versions of that are the first time that they've come out with actual roller coaster track that you can put cars on. And this is the quintessential version of that. So if you're a, a roller coaster fan or a Lego and roller coaster fan, this is the kit for you it is worth the money it's very expensive but it's worth the money so go ahead and pick that up if you have that level of money so if you have one of those city s schemes or you know um, train layouts made out of Lego I actually think it's more fun to get the roller coaster and the carousel and a couple of the other uh, theme park items instead of getting the modules and because there's more motion, you can put power functions on both of these, spin, have them spinning, have the trains going around. There's more commotion, more amazing things to look at on your, on your layout, on your train layout, if they're moving. So, you know, I've been to many different train layouts, HO and, and Lionel, and every kid, what do they go to? They go to the ones that have buttons that they can press, and there's some interaction with the layout itself right either switching track or even those old Lionel you know uh, people movers that move the crates from back to forth back and forth 
those are what the kids go to. Why? Because there's something that they can interact with, something in, in addition that they can watch, and it, the whole thing is will make your set much better. Talking about more of the theme park feel, this is an amazing set. It's huge. It's expensive because it's huge, but it's also, you know, almost mini scale size. I don't even know what the actual scale is, but it feels like mini scale size. When you have the mini Mickey, Donald and Daisy up front, it's just an amazing set. If you have that type of money, go ahead and pick it up. If you missed out on the Taj Mahal, the first release, this is out of the vault and go ahead and pick it up. But to me, I would much rather spend that sort of money on the Disney castle. I think it's going to be a better return on investment, even though the Taj Mahal skyrocketed in price when it was not when it was in the vault. I think the castle is going to be a better return on investment long term. City Ninjago. Now, I'm not into this theme. I'm not into the Ninjago theme, and especially not the Ninjago movies. But I will give it credit. I think this looks like the Lego movie sets better than I've ever seen, right? The water looks gorgeous. The boats are cool. Every aspect of this, I think, is very cool looking. I'm just not a Ninjago fan. If you are, Maybe go and check these out. And typically, you'll see these built in the stores themselves as well, so you can go check it out. These are extremely tall. They're about, they're the size of a module and then some. So pricing it out in comparison to a module, I think this is a better deal. And I think there's more detail. There's more items, there's more theme, um, there's more scenes to interact with the minifigs. So if you're a kid playing with a module, this is a better play toy. So keep that in mind when you're looking at comparing those. So here's more Ninjago, Dragons, uh, Battle. So I'm gonna skip through this because it's just not my bag. Programming, Mindstorm. You, if you like Mindstorm, check out our other videos where we do Mindstorm tutorials, EV3 tutorials. And then uh, the Boost Creative Toolbox is a smaller kid version of the Mindstorm. So depending on, on your age, get started in this. Um, you know, I think that having a robotics background growing up is gonna be very beneficial for you in the future. So go ahead and pick out whichever one is more appropriate to your age. This is seven to 12 years old, and this is 10 up. So depending on your age, go ahead and pick one of those up. It's gonna be great. Hogwarts Express, this has been done before, but what I'm gonna say is the old version was terrible. I would not have bought the old uh, Lego Hogwarts Express. The reason is they had small wheels that didn't go on the track. And I was like, what is the point of that? This here looks like it's very close to the Emerald Express. Uh, in the way that it's designed. And I think the Emerald Express is one of the best kits, uh, train kits out there ever. And this is very close to it. And it gives, you know, it's, it gives that interaction that you can have in the, in the passenger car. And it gives the train station with nine and three quarters. So you can play out the scenes um, with the train, the Harry Potter scenes with the train. And I think that's a great kit. It comes with five minifigures. Highly recommend that. And then you got the small kits. And then you got the ginormous micro scale kit that comes with four minifigs. I'm not sure why, because it's all on micro scale version. And that's $400. Um, if you're a huge fan of Harry Potter and you want everything Harry Potter, this is the one thing that you can sit on your shelf that not everybody's gonna have. So there you go. It's got, it has 6,020 pieces, right? So $400, if you do a per piece, this is actually a deal at $400. But, you know, so if you go buy piece, you know, you're supposed to be paying around $600 and it's at 400. But a lot of these pieces are very tiny. 
So I can understand why they're only going with $400. But if you go by per piece, this is actually a really good deal. The set is amazing looking. You can have it on your shelf and make a good impression. So it's very cool. It's got a lot of items you can play with, but it's really micro. So I don't recommend it for children. I recommend it for adults, fans of Lego, or just huge Harry Potter fans. If you can't afford that set, you can go with the Great Hall, which is $99.99. Uh, $99. And then it has a lot of interaction inside of the tower and the uh, Grand Hall. And you, a lot of playability to, to map out the scenes that you wanted to play out. Uh, also, you have the Whomping Willow Tree uh, wrecking uh, the, the car. You have a playable Quidditch match. That looks like a lot of fun. And then this is, I don't think that the pictures do this just this. This is a briefcase that opens up and then you're inside the briefcase of the Magical Creatures movies. And then you have some of the Magical Creatures included as well. I find that to be an amazing set, especially for $50. There's so much interaction that you can play with there. And I believe that that briefcase just looks amazing when it's closed or open. Then you have the escape. Then we have some base plates, brick gears, um, creative suitcase, and the $60 bricks, bricks, bricks set. Now, I picked this up at Costco. So go look at your Costco and see if you can find a big discount on this because I did and I picked this up and it's fantastic and I'm gonna be doing tutorials on how to build all these little objects that came with bricks 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 so it's 1500 pieces for $60 you're getting a good deal at Costco you're getting even a better deal so keep that in mind when you're looking at buying in bulk 1500 pieces at $60 is a really good deal and if you build classic Lego designs and mocks, these are great to pick up um, for mass amounts of Legos. For Minecraft, you got a couple sets. These are, to me, seem pretty new. You got some silverfish and bats. So it's a cave scene. This is called Bedrock Adventures. You have the skull area. So it comes with two minifigs and a bunny. So that's really cool. So it comes with skins, that's cool. And then the Bog, Borg, I forget how to pronounce it, but it's so cute in the movies. And now we have it in Lego form and it's $70. Um, if you're all into Lego, you know, Lego sets like I am, so I have the R2-D2 and the BB-8, this would be a great adder to that, uh, to sit right next to, but to me, I feel like the scale is out of whack, right? I mean, it's a really, it's like life-size scale. And I'm not sure that I really appreciate that scale. We got the AT hauler, which to me is an add-on. Uh, I wouldn't buy that for $100. This set, the sand crawler, I think is a terrible set. Don't buy this set. If you want the sand crawler, go buy the older version that's bigger and more expensive. Um, and it's got so much more interaction and it's mini scale size. Whereas this is this weird scale. Uh, it's got mini figs coming out of it, but it's not the right scale. To me, the dimensions are just off and you just have a large $140 brown brick. And to me, that's just not worth it. We got the Cloud Raider Sweep Bikes. I wasn't a big fan of these in the solo movies, so I'm not impressed. And then we have the Anakin Jedi Starfighter. Now that's a good set. There's been other versions of this in the past, and I prefer the ones in the, uh, the other versions. Then you have the quintessential kit across all of Legos right now, which is the Millennium Falcon. If you go see this in the Lego store, it's amazing. It's, a, it's an event, if you will. It's one, not only huge, 
but if you take the top pieces off you get into the detail of the inside of the Millennium Falcon you can have so many play adventures in it it's just it the issue is is eight hundred dollars the issue is is that it's eight hundred dollars now eight hundred dollars is a huge amount of money um, it is not the best deal either you know if it was only seventy five hundred pieces but it is the set that everybody wants. If you have an unlimited budget and you have a child that is interested in Legos, this is the most amazing set out there that anybody can buy. It's just, it's just amazing. Just if you have that money, buy it. But I don't have that money. And I'm a collector of the Star Wars uh, collector series, the ultimate collector series. So I have the, the X-Wing, we have the um, Ewok Village, so we have we have the R2D2, the BB-8. So I have several of the collect Ultimate Collectors series items. This is one that I wish I could afford. I just can't right now. Then there's the Y-wing, which is actually my favorite um, fighter or vehicle of Star Wars of all time. I, there's something about this Y-wing that I really like. Uh, the overall design of it is just. It never got the does. The respect it got everybody wanted the x-wing of course everybody wanted the x-wing they wanted to fly as luke skywalker but the y-wing itself i think is a fantastic vehicle i wish i could pick this one up as well the snow speeder i think is a great kit it looks fantastic it'll look great on the shelf the issue i have with this is it is not 100 percent um minifig scale to me it looks way too big the canopy is way too big for the minifig scale. So if they would have toned this down just a slightly bit and be somewhere in between this huge version and the toy version that they sell for around $50, I think we would be in a much better place. Uh, to me, it's just too large of a kit. Now, my X-Wing is not minifig scale either. So maybe they're going with this to add all that detail that the X-Wing had. Either way, I'm just not uh, not picking that one up. Now this is Cloud City. This is $350 um, to 2,800 pieces. That's not a great deal if you go buy pieces. So there must be some large pieces. The only thing I like about this set, I'm not one of these play set guys. I'm just not. Um, but this is a really cool Slave One spaceship. And then they have the red um, Cloud City spaceship. Now, I, as a kid, had a small version toy of this. Loved playing with it. That's really cool. I like that they added this in. This, this is what makes this set for me. And then they added it as a Ultimate Collector series. I don't believe that it's supposed to be. Um, it doesn't seem like a good collector's series item I, I don't know it's just it's weird to me don't I don't respect it as much as I probably should now this is the heavy we're getting into Technic I love Technic um, heavy duty forklift that one's cool uh, $70 good entry level into Technic this one has power functions and it's a tree cutter downer I just don't see a lot of kids playing with $150 tree cutter downer um, to me, that just doesn't feel right. Uh, so I wouldn't pick that up for a child. I would go with more of the cranes. And this one, the newest crane, is $300. But it's got 4,000 pieces in a Technic. So it's a pretty good deal. But there's other cranes out there in the past that I like better than this. Now, it has the hydraulic pistons as well. Uh, I just or the pneumatic pistons as well. I just don't I don't think it is not as good as it could be This is a $350 Bugatti Giron. It's 3,500 pieces. So it's dead on to what you would expect out of Lego uh, The I think the design is fantastic uh, It's really well done in design and the Unboxing is fantastic. You got these really cool wheels that come with it custom wheels only for this set um, I think it's really well done, but to be honest with you, I think I'd like the Porsche better. You know, hate me, leave a comment down below if you don't agree, but I think I like the Porsche better. So there you go. 
Uh, so this is the Volvo Concept wheel loader. And to me, this feels like Volvo made a deal with Lego to do this futuristic concept vehicle. Who wants a concept vehicle when they're trying to play with it? it but, however, I think it's really well done. Uh, the, the, the loader, the, the scoop up front is cool. This, this um, drone is fantastic. I hope they sell the drone by itself. Other than that, I, I just feel like it's a Volvo campaign inside of my Legos. Feels rushed, doesn't feel right. Okay, Thanos, I'm not a huge uh, super superhero fan, but I do have respect for these sets. Um, this Ant, Ant-Man Ant set, I think is really cool. This Hulkbuster smash up, I think is also cool. If you're in the Legos, uh, superheroes, 30 bucks, you get a giant Hulk you can smash with. I, I think that's really awesome. And then you have Thanos, Ultimate Battle. Whereas I don't believe that this set looks good. I want to see a Ultimate Collector's set of this, uh, of the of the large um, spaceship that that these guys have. And and this to me doesn't feel like the Ultimate set. It just feels added on. It's seventy dollars. Um, I would much rather see like a $200, $300 version of this set where they actually have a cabin where the tape recorder is and the where you can walk around and dance and whatnot. Um, I'd rather see that than another one of these sets for $70. Now, this is the Hulkbuster Iron Man Ultimate Ultron Edition. This is way too big. It's not mini scale size anymore. It's just giant. Uh, if you're a huge fan of Iron Man, maybe you'll go pick this up. But to me, I'd rather just spend $30 on this set and you can play with it much better and much more than this giant version of the set. Now, what else do we have? We have Batman. Batman's fun. And they change up the sets all the time, which is I think is needed. This set here actually comes with um, Bat Hound, which I think is really cool. So if you are a collector of Batman, Bat Hound, that's really cool. And so you got Batman going against the ninjas. Then there's the Eye, uh, Batman Brother Eye takedown. So that's cool. And then submarines. I like submarines, uh, Lego submarines especially. These are really cool. And you got Aquaman included in that. Then you move on to the Batman app controlled Batmobile, which I like these integrations. They've done the integrations before where they have RC cars that have Lego brick uh, added on top of it. But this looks like a really complete design. I, I think that's really well done. It looks like there's a lot of Technic built into it. So that it's not just um, one big solid chunk RC car underneath bricks on top. I think they've done a good job with that. I haven't seen the internals, but it looks really well done. Now, I talked about the roller coaster before being the first set of Le uh, roller coasters to come out from Legos. This is one of the other versions. This is the $90 version, which I think is really cool. It does not have a chain um, lift, so you're gonna have to crank this manually and but that's fun and i think they've done a really good job theming it as a pirate edition and they use the colors from the pirate ships and the pirate and the imperial uh, guards from before with the yellow over here and then the browns and the whites and yellow whites and reds for the ship so they've kept with that overall lego theme you know at lego land i wouldn't be surprised if you see this exact set being made into a real life roller coaster. Modular suite surprises. Uh, to me, this is not that great. You know, I don't. It's a cross between them trying to um, make a food cart and a suite, but then yeah, everybody's got to go upstairs. I, I don't get it. But on the other side, 
This is a $30 set, which is the Treehouse Treasures. And this, to me, is a fantastic set. It's got little kids, uh, the treehouse. It can be converted into a ship or a pirate island. I think that's a great set, and, and the conversions look really fun, too. Cruising Adventures. Um, it's okay. I've seen boats done before better. My daughter has the Canamaran Friends version, and to me, that's a better set than this. Dinosaurs, so Jurassic Park. Um, big fan of the movie, not a big fan of the Legos, other than the actual dinosaur figures themselves. So I would pick up these sets just to get these dinosaur figures. I think they're fantastic. But the sets themselves, like the helicopter, it's okay. The ATV is cool. Uh, for $40, that's a good price though. I would probably pick this up for $40. Um, but this, you know, gated for the uh, breakout, it, it doesn't look all that fun. The This Jeep, I wish they had the roll bar over top of it. And then this big truck, um, and this little set for $80 to me is too expensive. So it, this whole genre, this whole theme, I don't think they've done a really great job this round. This is Capital City. So this is their, their entry into the full city layout that they've done in the past. This is this year's version of it. I think it's cool. It's got a modular uh, museum, if you will. Um, it's got a hot dog stand. Um, skateboard, rock wall, um, big old bus, cars, ice cream cart, which I think the ice cream cart's much better than the ice cream sweet version that we were just looking at. Then they have a hotel. So it's all about playing around in the city and adding components to your city. I, and it's if you're looking for a lot of minifigs, this comes with 13 minifigs. So it's a great addition to something that you have. Also, the people pack, this is the outdoor version, and you get uh, how many minifigs? 14 minifigs for $40, and a bunch of activities that go with it. So that looks like fun too. The train. I'm a huge train, Lego train addict. Uh, I think we have over eight trains in the house. To me, this is not one to go rush out for. Um, I don't like the design of the engine. I like the log cars and they go with the Technics. So that's cool. But this bank robber stuff, I, what are we doing? Is this police? No, this is the Lego trains. The tower is not as good as the cranes. This, this is a crane car. That's cool. I like the crane car. Everything else I could get rid of. Uh, it, it doesn't have enough for me to go out and buy that. And it's $229. And then I don't even see that it's power function. So don't recommend the train this year. This is the Awesome Adventures uh, sets. If you like these, go pick them up. Uh, the cool things this time around are the frozen animals. That's kind of cool. Uh, cool integration for this polar, um, these polar kits to integrate the frozen animals. It's got that Ice Age kind of feel to it. That's okay. Police station. I think that's a really cool police station. Um, very cool. It's got a lot of different stories that can be told with this police station, which is very good uh, for playability. This high-speed chase. To me, go down to $20 and just have two cop car, a cop car and a um, thief car. Let's just do that. Uh, uh, to add the helicopter to me, I think is too much. You get a helicopter with the PlayStation. That's the right size helicopter. This to me could be redone. Go down to twenty dollars instead of forty dollars. Um, I think that'd be better. This is the third version of Lego roller coasters that you can buy. So this is the Fairground Fun. Uh, it looks fun. If you have a daughter or a niece. This would be fantastic, and it's all about um, the kitty, which I think is going to get her own show, which is very cool. Yeah, Unikitty. Unikitty is the kitty that's going to have her own show. And then there's a 
cloud car and the trike and the party time. So if they're watching the show, maybe go ahead and pick these sets up. They're pretty cheap, um, so you can't go wrong. If, she, if your niece doesn't like it, then, then you're good. Now this is build and swap. This is a new feature that they're adding to the Disney princess line where you can take this piece and put it over here and then vice versa. I don't think it's well done. I'm gonna call them out on this. I don't think it's well done. I think this cart is terribly made. I don't like the design of the boat. It's too shallow and then way too high. And the, the castle looks, to me, looks terrible. Um, let's talk about all the castles that we've seen in the past. There was the frozen, there was two frozen castles. They were great. Um, the Dublo version of Cinderella's castle was pretty good. Uh, the, the, the Disney castle that is um, that we looked at before is fantastic. To me, these are just large pieces, uh, but the price is pretty good. You get $70, you're gonna get a whole castle, a whole Cinderella castle. But what's up with the purple? Cinderella's castle is not purple. Uh, I guess it's the green, dream castle. I, to me, I'm not impressed. So let's move on to Friends. My daughter loves Friends. I think this is a great set. There's so much playability. That's what she likes doing with the sets. We even build the sets for her and then she just plays with them. So she loves uh, these kind of dollhouse feel to these sets. So highly recommend something like this or the, they had a school um, and an apartment and like a pet hospital. All of those seem really good. This art stand looks pretty cool, especially if you have a daughter that is into art and Legos. This would be a great set to pick up. Then there's a mission vehicle. I'm sure this is tied into the television show. I haven't watched all the television shows, so I'm sure that's tied into it. And it's only $20, and it looks like a really cool vehicle. So I'm not anti-girl Legos. I think the Friends have done really well uh, bringing women and bringing girls into Legos. These sets, I just don't think that they're well done. So just keep that in mind. Again, here, here's more friends that I think are really well done. This is the Mia camper van. Um, because of the friends scale of the, of the minifigs, you gotta have a much bigger vehicle, a much taller vehicle. So I can see why this is a um, $55 set. And it comes with a horse for the friends scale. So there's a lot of playability. I have a RV city edition and it's a lot of fun to play with. Um, and I think we even have the trailer, lots of fun. Here's the pet center, lots of fun to be had there and it's two different levels. So a lot of playability there. And then here is the roller coaster track being used in a different way. This is a monorail. And I think it's well done. A lot of playability, a lot of towers, little mini rooms that the friends can play in. And then you have a Mia treehouse, which again, I think this is well done. So all those I think are well done. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. So if you're in the architectural Legos, this is okay. I'm not gonna run out and buy this. However, the Statue of Liberty, I think is a fantastic set. Now, again, this is only $40 and this is 120, but I believe this is gonna be more rememberable. You know, if you're gonna have something on your table, this is a cooler thing to have than the, the, the Las Vegas. But if you're a huge fan of Las Vegas, go pick this up. Maybe there's a room that you stay in, in one of these towers, and you can point those out at, when you have friends come over and look at your desk and you look at the Las Vegas edition of Legos. The Great Wall of China, $50. I think it's really well done. I think the price is too high. Voltron. If there's any set in here that I think I would wanna buy uh, without any money concerns, I think it's the Voltron. I think this is a fantastic set. I love the ideas. I have a collection of a lot of the different Lego ideas, and this would be a great adder to my ideas collection. 
This Tron Legacy is cool and it's pretty cheap. If you're getting into the Lego ideas, this is a good one to get started on. Um, I just don't find it to be that amazing for $35. Um, 200, if this was $23 or $25 or even $28, I think we'd be looking at a better deal. But $35 it, to me is just priced a little too high. So on the back cover, we have the Once Upon a Brick pop-up book. And I think this is a fantastic idea. I think it's done by JR Brickworks, something like that. And you can go check out his channel. And he has additions to this. So not only can you play with the two that come with the set and the figures that come with the set, but he's got a whole bunch of different versions that you can add to the book itself. And that pop-up function, I just find it amazing that they've integrated a pop-up book into Legos. Um, highly recommend to go pick that up, especially if you like the Lego ideas. I think this is a great set to have. Okay, if you agree with some of my comments, comment down below. If you disagree and you don't agree with something I've said about one of your favorite sets, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. This is a community that I'm trying to build and I want to hear your opinion as to what is in, up and coming in the new versions of Legos. And if you are looking for Black Friday deal, this is where to go. Go to lego.com, uh, shoplego.com, and go check it out on Black Friday. I think you're gonna get the best deals out there. And Legos normally don't go on sale, um, even at Walmart or Target or wherever. They might put on last year's sets on sale, but if you're trying to get the most up-to-date Lego sets, you're gonna have to go to lego.com and 30% off um, daily deal, I think is gonna be the best place to find your best deals for Legos. So go check it out. I'm not sponsored by lego.com, but I believe that that's the best set, the best sales that you're gonna find. So go ahead and check that out. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow on Make Share Daily with our next daily build. So see you later and please subscribe down below. Bye-bye.